Hey y'all, it's Desi here and today's video is a, another beauty video on this channel. And the reason why is that I love blushes and one of the first makeup items that I've used for blushes, I love them so much. I use probably a little bit way too much blush in sixth grade. So sixth grade me is happy right now and it's like, wow, sixth grade me is impressed. So if you want to try this look out, please, please, please stick around this video. And if you haven't already yet, please subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. So be notified of all the videos I'm going to make, all the content that I'm going to create. I'm going to give it to you right there. So please do those things. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you comment down below. What should I do next? What type of content should I create next? I just have my base. I did put on some eyeshadow with the Artistry Vault and this is a collaboration with Plain Makeup by Yolando and by Melissa, one of my favorite palettes hands down. They got really pigmented shades. They got a side with neutrals, nudes, browns, and then you have the side with colors and an artistry palette an artistry vault palette is pretty much a palette where it has it's kind of made for makeup artists so you have almost every single shade you have white shade you have a black matte shade you got some shimmer shades you got colorful shades and you put it all together into this one beautiful palette the colors are really great and so beautiful on black skin recently Morphe and ColourPop recently, especially with ColourPop's Animal Crossing collection is just disappointing, very unpigmented, looks like. MAC and The Sims palette, very disappointing, very boring, and it's probably the same shades that they used in their past palettes. It's just like they kind of repackage it and make it, I don't know, you know, I'm gonna make it another version of this palette and just brand, just put off the brand, all of that. And ah, uh, for, I mean, some of the shades could show up on my skin, but on a darker skin person, it does not, it maybe show glitter and all that stuff, but it's not gonna show color. It's not gonna show, it's gonna show very ashy. It is very unflattering. And this is the point I'm getting to right now. Most of your favorite makeup brands are quite anti-black because they do not take the time to add in shades that are beautiful on our skin. So honestly, the reason why most of us black beauty influencers are saying that your ColourPop, your MAC, your Morphe, your shadow, your eyeshadow palettes are just anti-black is that because you do not take the time to incorporate colors for our skin tone. Look, like you, like you guys are investing so much money and collaborating with other influencers, games, different brands. But when it comes to investing that money for pigmentation and making sure you are inclusive of all skin tones, look, the progress that you made with foundations and concealers like you're listening to us there but when it comes to eyeshadows it's dead silent you do not invest enough money into making sure your eyeshadows show up on darker skin tones you're investing less money in that than you do with collabs and that's and that's disappointing if you do need an alternative to ColourPop, morphe and that mac mask now you can always go to Plain and Makeup by Yolanda. I do not just have this one as my only palette from her, but I also have the Jamrock Universal Eyeshadow Palette, which is amazing. So I will, I'll try my best to link them both down below in the description so you can guys get it. And they have so many other palettes. I may post a couple of palettes that I really, really want from them as well because there are a couple more palettes from them that I really want to put my hands on right now because 
honestly, they're doing their job, they're doing their thing. All right, back to this. I know it's a little dirty, but you know, Juvia's place is not does not have the best reputation, honestly. But I mean, one thing about them, they're going to make a pigmented palette. I actually got this palette before Juvia's place got canceled, but you know, the Saharan blush and continue into the Saharan palette, which I actually have the authentic OG Saharan palette. This is the Saharan blush one, and I know one of the colors got the product because moving things and this whole color move off but i'm not really going to use the highlighters but this this video is about blush layering blush and yes 2021 we are layering blushes black women layer your blushes thank me later and with that being said let's get on to the tutorial right now first of all i'm going to use abby this is kind of like a little not kind i say contouring but it kind of it gives you shape and abby is this very deep deep dark burgundy shade which is really nice so i'm gonna use a, a fluffy not not fluffy but i'm gonna use a kind of like an angle blush brush this one's from sephora i know i do not have the best blush brushes at all i'm trying my best but i'm gonna use what i have okay like it's nothing wrong with that so i'm gonna use abby the reason why i use this angle one because i use this for shaping the face so what i'm going to do right now first is i'm going to kind of line down this part kind of kind of like similar to how i usually contour or bronze my face with darker tone bronzers like this so it's kind of acts like that it kind of warms up the face too don't want to use too much i mean this is the base of how I do my blushes. So I'm just gonna do it how I would normally do my powder contour. I know my wig is lifting. It's okay. We're gonna cover it. We're gonna hide it, okay? We're gonna hide that part. So what I'm gonna do is to, as you can see, it's hiding. It's hiding. We're just gonna get that foundation and we're gonna use this to just kind of give the face a little shape, a little dimension. You can also put it on the temples just to add that additional shape to the face. I'm looking at the mirror, so all of that. And as you can see, you have a little bit of a dimension to the face, which I really like. The second shade I'm going to go into is Neo, and I might use, you can use the same brush, brush as this, or if you want to, you can use a fluffy one. So the reason why the second one, second darkest, because it has a little color, it adds a little color to your face, and I want it to be the main color of the face. So I'm just going to put it a little bit above the Abbey just to add that little splash of color. And I just want this to add this a little color. The reason why I like a fluffy brush one, so this one's from Mary Kay. Like I got it as like a gift, but it works just as fine. A fluffy blush brush could, can do, would do, it would do. This one adds like the main color to the cheeks. And I like a rosy red. It looks really good on my face and it kind of complements. See, it complements the darkest shade. It really complements it really well and it has that little shade. And then next, I'm going to use, I'm going to use Zane, okay? I'm just going to use Zane. You can use, you can use the same blush, but don't put it as much as Neo. Zane really choose violence as a really nice little pink shade right here. This is Zane and it chose violence, okay? It chose violence. You'll see why it chose violence. Let's see. You don't want to use too much and... This one is the brightest blush color, and this is like your climax, okay? This is like the high point, the scary point. And you're just, and what I used to do, I put it on top of the buff two colors, and I don't want to do really, really on top on top, but it's like, it kind of brings out the 
Neo, okay? It brings out the Neo. Every time you push your hands on a blush palette, take notes, y'all. These are made to layer on, kind of like eyeshadow. And I like a big fluffy brush because it kind of sparks the color a little bit instead of like being intense and being shocking. Next up, I'm going to use a stipple brush. You can also use stipple brush on a brush shade if you don't want too much, but I'm just going to use this anyway. I'm going to use the color Toby right here on this one, and I'm going to do a little bit on top of Zane. This is a little peachy blush color. So I'm just going to use a little bit on top of the Neo, but right on the top side of Zane. This orange mutes the bright one so it can settles in and it kind of makes like a little sunset i love this this really reminds me of a sun setting blush and which why i like layering my blushes i like my blushes looking like the sunset if your blush don't look like a sunset i don't know what's going on look it's art i like my makeup you could put a little bit more if you want a little bit more toned down look I'm just gonna dab it in. It's kind of like a little stipple brush. I love a stipple brush. Could it kind of get the color out there? Want a little bit here. Want a little bit additional color? You can do a little packed dense brush like this, and you can just. And then, lastly, I'm going to use the Artistry Belt Palette from Planning Makeup by Yolando. I love this color. Actually, I'm gonna use two more colors because I'm extra like that. The first one I like is I love it. This one chose violence on a palette, but it's actually more like a pastel purple. And this one is kind of like a lavender blush, which is very awesome. I love lavender blushes. So I'm gonna use this one. This one is actually a flawless concealer blush. Now I get to use the big mirror and now I can see better close up gonna use a little bit up here not too much this is a shocking color so you don't want to use a little bit too much so we're just going to dab it in we're gonna dab it in just to have that just to have that attention I love it just wants the attention okay and I like it because it really simmers into a muted pink which is really really beautiful and then lastly we have so precise and this is the top this is, I don't want to use too much of this. But the yellow shade is just as that glitter, glitter, glitter. Just right, right, right. So I'm just going to use this. This is like a little highlight. And most of us darker skin would usually use like a banana powder. And it complements your banana powder really well. You want to use a little bit more, you can use a little bit more. Beautiful, beautiful sunset. You see how they ate that? Like black um beauty brands ate that. You see how Yolando and Juvie's place ate that? Like, let me go a little bit closer, close up. See, see it. Look, mind the wig. Do you see how beautiful this is? This is like a really beautiful sunset, and I love this look. I'm just gonna put on some lipstick and, and this right is now. the entire look this is the finished look so basically what I put on was the holiday cookie from Bath and Body Works over the perfect time matte lip cream uh I don't see this shade color but whenever I do I'll link it down below but this is the my pink that I love 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 this is kind of like a mauve pink, very perfect on all skin tones. If you're darker, you might want to put some lip pencil around it so it could be more flattering on your skin tone. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you do subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more videos. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye y'all. Beep, <laughs> beep,